we've had such great data here. Progress for all the different patients with different types of lung cancer. It's been a great, great meeting with a great feel. We actually had two plenary sessions, which we're so excited about. Um, uh, a combination of VEGF and PD-1, improving outcomes uh, compared to first-line pembrolizumab. That was very exciting. Uh, some great progress in HER2 targeting agents. And of course, uh, with Paloma 3, the great data that Dr. Alexander presented about making things better for patients. Also, some really exciting um, uh, data supporting the LORA study. There was a study here with omalertinib, really confirming that after chemo radiation, patients with eugeophormia and lung cancer could get a consolidation TKI. So, lots of progress. Um, also, you know, from the ADC world, a new exploratory method of maybe measuring how much drug is taken up. Um, by cells and, and maybe a new way to measure that to help us predict who's going to do better on ADCs versus, you know, where do we still need to work a bit harder uh, and find new approaches. You know, this marks the 50th anniversary of the International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer. So it's been a real thrill to be here. The vibe is great. Uh, investigators from around the world, patients, advocates, um, people from across different disciplines. It's really been a great opportunity to get everyone together to help our patients. There's been a lot of interest about data potamab and some of that, talking about where that drug's going to go. They have a new assay, this nuclear membrane ratio, looking at trope two. And the other couple of things is there's the new bi-specific PDL VEGF drug from Summit, which has been very interesting and exciting, kind of came out of nowhere. And of course, Mariposa had some updates as well at overall survival, which is very encouraging about the use of amivantamab in the first line setting. Again, following up what we talked about before, uh, amivantamab, but now we're beginning to see survival in the typical EGFR mutated population. Um, I'm very happy that uh, Zangertinib, that's also another HER2 targeted therapy, small molecule inhibitor, uh, Dr. Luther presented today uh, with me. So um, I'm just really happy to see more options coming out uh, for our patients. And I, I really don't think this is a competition rather than a battle. We all battle against cancer and then we need to go uh, uh, together. Um, I do want to uh, mention that I have another abstract that was selected to the presidential presentation, uh, the study I led as a global PI that's called a border study, is another TKI for EGFR patients for PAC mutation population. I think that data looks also have great potential uh, to, uh, to change our practice in the near future. I think the most dramatic results were the results from the Harmony, Harmony 2 trial that randomized patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer uh, with PDL that were PDL1 positive uh, to ivanosumab versus pembrolizumab. And uh, the significant improvement in progression-free survival with a hazard ratio of 0 0.5 or even less in certain subsets uh, was quite striking. Uh, this is a study that was conducted in China only. Uh, not that that in any way raises any doubts about the results of the trial. Nonetheless, it would be uh, important, I believe, that a follow-up study in a more diverse patient population is conducted uh, to confirm the results of this study. But uh, this was quite exciting. These results were quite exciting. And, and uh, uh, may uh, change standard of care uh, in the coming years. Um, so there were many other presentations, but to me, this uh, stood out. Mm -hmm.